does the company that you keep books for do a lot of cash transactions? In this episode of QuickBooks Online Crash Course, you will learn the best way to handle and manage cash related transactions. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. In theory, any business that receives or pays cash for services should have one specific physical place where the cash is located. This place should be secure like a lockbox or office safe where money can be put into or taken out when you have a transaction. Very often this place is simply the owner's wallet. However, as long as the transactions are recorded properly, the amount of physical cash should be reflected in the account balance in QuickBooks Online. So how do we set up for cash transactions? Well, there should be one account in the chart of accounts that records any change in the amount of cash. This account is a bank type of account. It is a bank type of account because you will keep records of transactions for this exactly the same way that you would keep records of a bank account. You will deposit or put money into this place and you will withdraw or pay money from taking out money from this place. The account name can be petty cash if you intend on paying only small amounts of incidental expenses. Now you may remember in our chart of accounts we already have an account called cash on hand that will represent the physical cash that we will use to manage the business and notice it's already a bank type of account because that's what we set up when we prepared the QuickBooks Online account for this crash course. So, what is our first example? Let's imagine on January 12th of 2022, we withdrew $500 from the Chase Bank account to establish the cash on hand fund that will be used to pay expenses. Since you are depositing money into the cash account or the lockbox, you may use the deposit window even though there might be other more advanced options that you could learn about later that would record this transaction and give you the same result. But let's keep it as simple as possible. Click New. So what date is that? That's January 12th. Now what will be the result after this transaction? Well, this is what the trial balance looks like right now before we take $500 from the bank account and put it into cash on hand. But at the moment we remove $500 from the bank, the balance will go down to $4,550. And of course, because that $500 is in the cash and bank, ca cash on hand, excuse me, cash on hand will show up for the first time as $500. And this will be the result of that transaction. So we click New and we go to the Bank Deposit window. Now you have to change this to Cash on Hand because as we learned before in the Bank Deposit window the bank account on top is the one that the money is being deposited into. The account at the bottom is where the money is coming from. And in this case, the money is coming from the bank account to the cash on hand. 
You can leave received from blank in this case and the date that you're taking the money from the bank to the cash on hand is January 12. Of course you would put in all the other details but mainly the amount is $500 and this would be the simplest way to record taking money from the bank account down here and bringing it to the cash on hand. When we click save and close you can click reports, trial balance and you can see the results are exactly as what we expected. The cash in Chase Bank went down to 4550 and cash on hand showed up in the trial balance for the first time as $500. Now let's see what it's like to pay cash from the cash fund. Let's imagine on January 13th, 2022, we withdrew $50 from the cash box for a business-related transportation with Ned's taxi. He gave you cash receipt number whatever and you must use the expenses window to record any payments from the cash lock box. Now, what will be the result? Well, if you're paying from cash on hand $50, that means that the balance will decrease by 50 and become $450. But if you paid $50 more for transportation with that cash, you now have $50 more in transportation expense and that will become $150. And these will be the numbers after you record this transaction. We go to the top left and click New, and for cash payments, we click Expenses. Now, the payment account that you're paying from is cash on hand, because in the expense window, this will be the account that you're paying the money from. Now, we're paying Ned's taxi, and we get this message that's a little distracting, Let's click no because it's asking should we use information from a previous Ned's taxi transaction to put into this transaction because it thinks it's helping us. Just click no and then you yourself can put in transportation expense and you can put in the amount $50 and don't forget to put in the number on the cash receipt. Now, when we click Save and Close, the results in the trial balance are exactly what we expected. Cash on hand has decreased to $450, and transportation expense has increased to $150. Let's do example three. Let's imagine that Betty Boop paid Vonda, our company is Vonda, we got paid $100 cash for doing an editing service. And of course we have to give a receipt to Betty because of that. So we gave her handwritten receipt number whatever. And we will use the deposit window because we are depositing into the cash lockbox for money we earn for editing services. What will be the result? Well, cash on hand will decrease by $250 because we have $250 less on hand and it will become $300. But that $250 is now in the bank account, so the cash in bank will increase to $4,800 after this deposit. In the top left we click New and go to the right and click Bank Deposit. The date is January 15th. Now remember in the deposit window on top you have to choose the account you're depositing to 
And in this case, we're actually depositing to the Chase Bank from the cash on hand. And that's why if the money is coming from the cash on hand to the bank account, that they should be in these respective positions and the amount $250. Now, when we click Save and Close, the results are exactly as what we expected. We now only have $300 on hand because we now have $4,800 in the bank account.